Hi everyone, today we're actually Oh my God. Hi guys, today we're going to be covering iOS 26 and specifically new updates to iMessage and group chats that are very, very useful. Okay, so first up, we're going to be talking about pinned messages. If you didn't know, this was actually an update made last year, but for the people that you're regularly in touch with, you can actually pin them to the top of your messages list. So that way their icons are a bit bigger, easier to find, and you'll see previews of their message right around their face. So they're a little bit harder to miss. And another feature that's existed for a while is actually autofilling codes in messages. What this does is actually read through your messages and the second that you get a code that your phone can recognize, it will actually show you in your keyboard when you're typing it into a website. You might have already seen this before, but it is really useful. And now in iOS 26, these codes automatically get deleted or you can actually have them filtered into a separate list in the messages app. So that way they're not cramming up your actual important messages that you have for family and friends. In one-on-one -on -one messages and group chats, you can now actually have backgrounds. And the backgrounds are really fun because they can visually distinguish all of your group chats and add a certain vibe. So that way you know you're texting to the right person. So when you do this and when you add a background, it'll actually be added for that other person so that way you both have the same experience. Now, the biggest updates to iMessage are actually for group chats because they're getting a lot smarter and a lot more contextually aware, which I think is amazing. The first one is actually typing indicators in group chats. So now you can actually see when other people in the group chat are typing, which is very useful if everybody's in the chat in the moment making plans and you're trying to figure out who's about to respond that they're around the corner. You can also send Apple cash requests to a group, which is perfect when you're splitting the bill after dinner, instead of having to send every single person a separate charge, either in your text messages or in another app like Venmo. And probably the most important one is being able to send polls, interactive polls in group messages and one-on-one -on -one chats. When you send a poll, like in a group message, you'll actually be able to see all of the different votes and who voted for what, which makes it really easy instead of everybody having to text when to coordinate what time. And you can use these in one-on-one -on -one conversations, which can be really helpful when you wanna give somebody a bunch of different options instead of having to type them out and have them read through everything. To send a poll in a group message or a one-on-one -on -one chat, you actually just have to press the plus button to the left of your typing field, and you'll actually get a list of apps that you can use in iMessage, and you just have to scroll and find the one that says polls. The last feature I want to call out is actually something I use all the time and I haven't heard other people really talk about it, so I want to call it out here. It is also in that plus menu I just talked about. So when you open that, you'll actually scroll down and see an app called Check-In, and this is made by Apple and built into iMessage. And you'll be able to set a couple of different things, like where you are going and what level of detail you want to give the other person. So if I'm leaving the bar, for example, and I want my friend to know when I got home safe, when I get home from the Uber, I can actually send them a check-in to my home, it will estimate the time that it will take to get there. And if it starts to take too long, it will let my friend know that I've gone off path or I've stopped moving. I can also let them see exactly where my location is, exactly what my phone battery is, and a bunch of other details, which is really useful. And it just keeps it out of the back of your mind of having to text your friend when you're home and you don't and they think that you died. So this will solve that for you. So that is my overview of what I think is actually new and useful in iMessage and group chats in iOS 26. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like below so I know. And if you want to see more videos like this, I've actually done a couple on iOS 26. And the next one that you can watch is actually all about AI and visual intelligence, which is Apple's version of AI. There's a bunch of updates and ways that you can use it that do make it more useful. And I have a bunch of like tips and walkthroughs in that video. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I'm Grayson. I'm here every single week. I cover reviews, home things, tech reviews, walkthroughs, you name it. I love seeing your comments and answering your guys' questions. So if you have questions, leave them below. And if you have ideas of what you wanna see or you'd like to see videos like this, let me know down below as well. And with that, I will see you in my next video. Bye.